Okay, if you program microcontrollers, you're probably using them to monitor or control some type of process. Now to do that, you need sensors. And if you look online, there's many sensors to, uh, to choose from. Here's an example. Some are easy to use, some are more complex. But sometimes you can't find the sensor to fit your needs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own sensor. Keep it simple so it's easy to implement to solve your problem. Okay, here's a problem that we want to solve. So here's a glass, and this could represent a jar in an automated process in a factory. So your product is uh, being put into this glass, and it's moving along assembly line. And you want to be able to test each glass to make sure there's product in it, so there's water in it, at a, at a certain level. Now we want to do it without touching it, and it has to be very fast, so we need some type of sensor. Now we could use refraction, the law of refraction to tell if there's a, if, if it's full of water. That's bending of light as it travels from one medium to another, in this case from air to water. So by using the law of refraction, we could build a little sensor to tell if this glass is full. Okay, this is my setup for my refraction demo where we could bend a beam of light when it passes from one medium to another, in this case from air to water. So I have a laser beam pointed out of an empty glass and when I turn on the laser beam you can see it on the black cord board against the wall. Now when I pour water into the glass it's going to bend the laser beam and it's going to deflect to the left. So I'll do that. I'll pour some water in the glass. And you see it's deflected to the left because of refraction. Okay, this no contact water detector uses optics to detect the water. So you can see here we have an LED, that's our light source. And then we have an aperture and we have a second aperture. And the light source comes through the first aperture and it goes through the water cup. That's the water cup here without any water in it. And it goes through the second aperture to the photocell. And the photocell uh, resistance changes when it sees the light. Now when we add water to the cup, the light source comes through the first aperture and it gets refracted over away from the second aperture. So no light or very little light gets out the second aperture to change resistance of the photocell. So the difference in resistance between water and no water is fed into the analog to digital converter of the Arduino Nano and we could actually have a certain trigger point to detect water. Okay, so this is my no touch water detector. So I have a Basically, I have a square box. One end of the box has an LED. Other end of the box, you can see down here, has a photocell. So there's a light beam across the box. So if I put a glass of water into the box, you see it detects the water. Now if I put an empty glass, it doesn't detect it until I actually pour water in it. And it detects the water. Okay, here's the circuit for my water detector. And I'm using the Arduino Nano. So when pin 13 of the Nano goes high, indicating water, it's detecting water, it'll turn on the buzzer. Now I have ADC 0, analog to digital converter 0, monitoring the photocell output. So when a photocell changes resistance, indicating there's water, it triggers pin 13 to go high, which turns on the buzzer. So if I put the glass into the detector, you can see pin 13 comes on, energizing, energizing the buzzer, indicating there's water in the glass. Okay, so now you know how this touch-free water detector works. Now I'm using a microcontroller in my circuit, I'm using a nano, but you could simplify this circuit and use a voltage comparator. And you could take the voltage from the photocell and feed it into the comparator and set a trip point to trip the speaker when it detects water. But one, I wanted to use a microcontroller so I could tweak certain things because you notice when I put the empty glass into the detection box it got a small beep. That's because the bottom of the glass is thick and it thought there was water in it so it gave a short beep. So I could fix that with, with software. So it's the principle of how this works, how you could diffract light through water and you could use that in other projects that you're building.